let's write the letter Q. Our crankiest letter land friend, right? When we're writing her, we got to make that cranky face. Practice along with me at home. Use whatever you've got. Paper, pencil, whiteboard, marker, your finger, use and the air, whatever you've got with you. Practice with me at home. Quarrelsome Queen breaks a lot of our normal letter rules, so it's important to practice her uh, so that we can we can write her the right way and we can write her quickly. All right, let's start with her lowercase letter. Are we ready? Okay, Quarrelsome Queen, when we're writing her, right, she's not facing the reading direction. So, but her hair kind of curls up in the reading direction. So, when we write her, we don't need to pick our pen up, but we go around her face, then we come back up to that railroad track line, we come down below to the worm line and curl her hair in the reading direction. She's like a letter A, where we don't stop that stick, and come down and curl it up. So we go around, down her hair, curl her hair. Around, down her hair, curl her hair. Around, down her hair, curl her hair. Now, in some books, in some places, you will see Quarrelsome Queen without that little hair flip where she just looks like that. She looks like the number nine. So just know that you might see that sometimes, but when we write the letter Q, let's put the hair flip on there so that we can be really sure that that's a letter Q and not a number. All right, after we practice writing our lowercase Quarrelsome Queens, right, they go below the railroad track line. We gotta practice our uppercase quarrelsome queens, capital ones. Quarrelsome queen does not start a lot of words, so the only time we see your capital letter is at the beginning of names, places, important things. We see her very occasionally at the start of a sentence as a capital letter, but typically we, we only see her at the start of names. But she's important to practice because you will see her sometimes. All right, let's write the capital Q. Right, she goes into her quiet room. Quickly draw the queen's quiet room. Make it cozy and round. Then add a place where she can sit. Whenever she needs to come down. Quickly draw the Quarrelsome Queen, a capital Quarrelsome Queen, we draw first the capital letter O, right? Whoop. And then we draw a little stick, start at the airplane line, come down to the grass line, draw diagonally. That stick does two things, right? It keeps her quiet room from rolling away, and it gives her a place to sit. So we draw a circle, letter O, and then a line coming out of it. That's the fastest way to write a capital Q. When you're reading or when you are seeing letters, you might see the Q have like weird curvy line seats for Quarrelsome Queen, but when we write her, just a straight line will do, right? Quarrelsome Queen just needs a place to sit but sometimes we see it a little bit fancier. No, it's still a Q. If it's a O with a line coming out of it, it's a capital letter Q. But some places and sometimes in books we see that Q look a little bit fancier. It's just the straight line, the diagonal line out, it's just faster to write, right? Okay, now let's practice writing her, writing a sentence that has both the capital Q and the lowercase Q in it. So, Let's write the sentence, Quarrelsome Queen 
wants to ask a quick question. Quarrelsome Queen wants to ask a quick question. Do you think we can do it? Quarrelsome Queen wants to ask a quick question. Now, her name, Quarrelsome Queen, but especially the quarrelsome part is tricky. And there's lots of wonky letters in there. So let's do that one for sure together. We start with a Quarrelsome Queen. We start with a capital Q. Now, when every time we write a Q, what comes next to it? Her umbrella, a U. Right? She can't go anywhere without it. Now, Quar, R, we have that R pirate sound. So we know we have A, R. Arthur R, the robot stealer. Quar, and then there's just a second R there for fun. I don't think that one has a name or anything. It's just there to hang out. Quar, then we need ul. It sounds like it's just an L, but it's an E and then an L. Quarrel. Then we need the word some. It's two words shoved together, right? We talked about compound words like that. Quarrel, then we need the word some. S. Uh, uh. Bothersome brother. It sounds like a U, but it's a bothersome brother. S. Um. Mm, munching Mike. And then a silent E at the end, just to make it a little bit longer. Quarrelsome, then we need the word queen. So let's leave the space, put our second capital Q for the second part of her name. Qu. And then we need a U to make her make that qu sound. Quarrelsome, qu, E. We need a Mr. E. And then to make Mr. E say his name, his brother stands next to him on a walk. Quarrelsome, queen, n. Well, look, we, there we did it. Her very long name, we wrote it. Quarrelsome, queen, wants. Let's bring the word want to, to where we have room. W, w. This is a sight word, but it's a tricky one because that ah, ah is not an O. It's an A. It should be an O, but it's not. One, want, t, wants, two, so we need a space, two, T, and then an O making that OO sound. Quarrelsome Queen wants to ask. All three letters in the word ask say their sound, right? A, ah, A. Ah. S. And then it's a K making that K, K sound. Quarrelsome Queen wants to ask, space, A. Easy word. Quarrelsome Queen wants to ask A quick. So we need a lowercase Q. Who always comes next? You. Ku i i i. Impy ink. Quick. It's our C K together at the end, right? Keeping each other company. Quarrelsome Queen wants to ask a quick. Now we need the word question. So qu another Q, lowercase one. You. Ku e e e. Quest. Now, to make that chun sound, it sounds sort of like a CH or a J, it's actually four letters together. Question. It starts with a T. Quest. Question. And then we need I O N. Make that question sound. Question. T I O N. See that in a lot of words, and it makes that jun sound. Quarrelsome Queen wants to ask a quick question. Period. Awesome. Okay, practice writing this sentence, illustrate it, and send me a picture. Nice work.